Karen Brady, 53, revealed her fears for 2023 in politics and the business world as she reflected on trends that saw out the last weeks of 2022. The conservative peer said she fears having Keir Starmer in the prime minister's seat and declared Boris Johnson would never return to it. Karen, who became a member of the House of Lords in 2014, shared her fears and hopes for the upcoming year. One stringent concern she voiced, which many in the UK share, is that of the continuing strikes across multiple industries. However, the businesswoman believes the strikes have more of a political impact than many may think. Writing in her opinion column for The Sun, Karen said she feels a lot of these strikes are politically motivated by unions which support labor. She also referenced some public polls which indicate Sir Keir Starmer, the current leader of the Labour Party, may succeed Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister next year. But, Karen highlighted some of her concerns with this potential outcome, I fear we could find ourselves with a puppet PM, and his union masters pulling the strings. The Apprentice star added Bojo would not be coming back but we need our mojo back. While Karen shared her hopes to turn things around as 2023 begins, the businesswoman also had some dire declarations regarding the workplace. She insinuated Britain's professionalism has taken a steep dip due to the pandemic and remote working. Karen claimed The Apprentice is the only place a professional would still be seen in a tie. With an alarming combination of negative factors, including the strikes and what she described as a twindemic of flu and COVID-19, Karen feared for the future of the workplace. Additionally, Karen voiced some concerns about the TWAT generation, an acronym she compiled as some workers choose to only work in the office on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Don't miss, while she admitted she understood the appeal of extending weekends in order to help with the post-holiday lag, the businesswoman highlighted the impact it would have on industries that are still recovering from the pandemic. She wrote, Our shops, pubs and restaurants across Britain have been hammered. Businesses will close, with jobs lost. It is all exacerbated by rail strikes, which cost the UK hospitality sector £1. 5 billion in December. Returning to the hot topic of train strikes, Karen admitted her sympathy for the workers is waning. She suggested, if train workers don't like the job and don't think it pays enough, then perhaps they should simply quit and find a job they do enjoy. Karen added there would be plenty of other people waiting to snap up the vacancies. I'm sure there would be plenty of other people willing to take up all those roles, with generous perks and pensions. Karen also pointed out how employees are relishing their inability to get to the office, sharing some social media messages of people who are able to work from home due to the strikes, 